it's just it's just sickening. It's just sickening. Fuck it. I feel fucking so <laughs> sad right now. You know, it's a, it's a terrible thing. As I stand here in Kamloops outside the Indian Residential School that's behind me, I feel this immense sadness in my heart. As a human being, I'm disgusted by what happened to these children. In Canada, 150,000 children were taken from their homes, their families, their culture, their heritage taken away from them and brought to these places where they were completely abused sexually, mentally, physically and denied who they were as, a, as human beings. That's why it's important for all of us. These are, these are children of the human race. These are all our children as far as I'm concerned. No child should be harmed like this. Doesn't matter where you're from, what your nationality is, what your culture is. You know, it, it should never have happened, but it did happen. So let's not bury it. Let's address it. Let's bring it to the forefront. Just like I call it the dark and the wounded, because, you know, if we don't look at our wounds, they don't heal. If we don't address these issues, they don't heal. As long as we don't talk about these things or we pretend they never happen, then they have a great chance of happening again. And in my lifetime, when I leave the world for my children, I want the world to at least be a better place. We need to at least be smarter than we were. You know, these atrocities that happen, they're, cri they're crimes against humanity. And this was government sanctioned. No one wanted to find out what happened here. And even the children, you know, the children that died here, uh, a lot of times their, their parents weren't even notified and they were put in mass graves. It's it's a very it's a crime. It's a crime. It's so tragic. You know, I just as I'm talking now, I feel sick to my stomach. You know, and um, as an artist, I feel I need to do something. As a human being, I feel I need to do something. And that's one of the reasons I'm working in the dark and the wounded. I'm going to places, bringing these exhibits. You're walking into these places where these dark wounded things occurred and you can feel firsthand even just standing outside here you get this ominous feeling um, I, I've got knots in my stomach you know um, you can just imagine the kids running around the hallways or you know abused physically sexually and they weren't allowed to leave here you know they were basically held captive and they were prisoners I can only imagine how these children felt how alone they must have felt and scared. Yeah, I'm done. Fuck. It's too sad.